Um, basically, I just have a potentially up to $25,000 of a credit card that it wasn't paid or okay. will, won't be paid, and uh, and can I get rid of that? Um, so it doesn't exactly work just like that. They're making it seem like I there's nothing stuff. fun to do on Long Island. I've asked people and they're saying there's literally nothing why to you, do. Why are you looking surprised though? There's got to be a batting cage on Long Island. We're going to batting cage? Let's get out there and I then we'll go to the batting, batting, batting cage. Right. Oh, if not, we'll go to the aviation much. museum. I mean, the way I hit a baseball, that's damn near an aviation museum by itself. Mine is more of like a submarine exhibit. <laughs> I paid $40 for this fucking, this blunt. How stupid is that? If it wasn't that I have my own clients, believe me, we would smoke that shit right now. I'm picking up somebody from JFK and that oh, guy smells weed, I'm through. And when I moved out, yeah, they didn't transfer to their names. So I ended up for an entire year, I paid their gas and electricity. And then finally, after a year, dude, I was like, you guys just gotta figure this out. I'm not paying for it anymore. But it was in my name, and I didn't think about that. And so, it turned into your bill. Absolutely demolished my credit. There's companies that fix your credit that are cheap, too. And my credit was like at five, some low fives, and I paid these people. And my credit card. Dude, I'm I didn't, not that low, dude. I'm high fives. Nah, but I didn't pay, I didn't, <laughs> I owe like $25,000 in credit cards. I didn't even pay them back a dollar, and it's not even on and my it's credit. It's still off your shit? It's off my shit. Uh -huh. The hardest card credit card to take off your report is, is Discover. Don't ever get a Discover card. Take a left. So you can just run up a credit card and not pay? Just run it. You could bang it out and then just not pay it for for like six, seven years and, they, and they'll take it off your report. And it's legal. It's not It's not. A, it's not illegal. I don't know a lot about uh, banking, but there's no way that you can do that. There's no way that's legal. And if you can, it has opened up an entire world of possibilities for me. But I'm gonna look into it. I'm gonna do more research on that for sure. You can get twenty-five thousand dollars in debt, and then just get twenty-five thousand dollars in debt again. <laughs> it's incredible. You are a savage, dude. What is that? <laughs> if you want to take the number down, I got it for you. The, the credit, the guy that fixes your credit, you'll speak to him. He's pretty cool. His name is Quincy. Don't use Discover. Don't ever forget it, because they're the, they're the hardest to get off your record. I'm not even lying to you. I was like 25 to 30 grand. Probably with the interest, it probably was like 35, 40 grand. I think this is the first. This is it, man. Yeah, this is this Yo, it's is been a pleasure, man. Appreciate yeah. the ride, bro. Oh, look, can I get Quincy's number? Oh, yeah, let me give you Quincy's number. Tell him I referred you. Probably he'll give you a deal, too. Give you like $3,000 of free credit. Hey, it's 1 800. If, if, if a lady picks up, ask for Quincy. Got it. That's the guy that did my thing. He's, he's pretty cool. Got it. Do they take credit here? So, can we pay with credit card? So uh, we want to we want to hit the cages, then we want to hit play some miniature golf. What, what speed are we gonna do? Uh, well, I guess we could try different speeds. Let's start at 50. I feel like 50 is like a good middle ground. Oh fuck! It's been a, been a minute since I swung back. Like like forever ago. <laughs> nice. You look like a, a young Mike Trout. <laughs> you look like an old Mike Trout. Contact, that was contact. 60 is, uh, is pretty slow. We should might even think about editing this to make it look like we're throwing like 80. So what we're about to do is we're gonna film the 80 thing and make it look like we were, we were hitting, we were making contact at 50, so we're gonna film the 80. Well, let me stay, like I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna actually go, but I'm just gonna stand in there for a second. We're just trying to make ourselves look more athletic than we can. <laughs> you know that. So get, hey, Trey, so cool. get, the, get that in the foreground. <laughs> Back in? You guys don't want to go? Alright. Dude, I'll be honest, as bad as that was, that's probably the best I've ever done in baseball. Hi, how you doing? Uh is Quincy there? No, Quincy's unavailable. If you would like, you can leave a message. Does does Quincy have any associates? Um, give me one second. Let me see if someone can help you. Um basically I just have a potentially up to twenty-five thousand dollars of a credit card that it wasn't paid or okay. will, won't be paid and uh and can I get rid of that? Um, so it doesn't exactly work just like that. I, I can't just say it's, you're gonna, we can get rid of it for you. It's not a discovery card. card. I, I'm, has that card already defaulted? Yes, in a major way. So the way it works is we would send out legal disputes to the credit bureaus to have them remove uh, the, the negative premium credit report. Uh, we give them about 30 days, and if they don't respond back to us, 
uh, what happens is that they default. As far as your goals go, uh, financial goals, do you have like any financial goals you're looking to uh, accomplish within the next six months or a year, let's just say? Yeah, I was hoping to get rid of my debt. Uh, aside, from, aside from that, like, were you looking to purchase a home, a car, anything like that? Uh, I mean, obviously, would like to be rich, uh, but uh, you know, I'll, I'll, uh, I would settle for home ownership. I'll probably just give you a call back. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Thank you. Dude, got him. Got the information from him just like that. What an idiot. It sounds like basically what they do is they just get a lawyer to send it uh, like a snail mail to the credit cards, and they just hope that they're not going <laughs> to look at it for 30 days. You're, you're basically making a $25,000 bet on someone else's incompetence. Which I make every time. I mean, is this for all the marbles or what? It's for a lot of the marbles, but I mean, let's let's remember that I paid uh, the upfront cost for this, so you're actually in debt <laughs> to me right now. All right. And if we tie, what happens? Then we go to Borelli's. Wow. No, 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 no. You no, no, keep you put it in play. Oh, you're gonna put a pebble in front of my ball? That's my marker. What is this, Pebble Beach, dude? That's just, that's just putting sense. Looks like Dave's likes on the rundown. Hole in one. <laughs> no, that's yeah, crazy. Yeah, you can split them. Diagonal? What? Is, this isn't. You can't take chess. both. You need to this split. isn't a bishop in chess. I don't have any room to go back here. Can you help us one second? We have a rules question. I just want to. When it gets caught in this little hole right here, is that an extra stroke? We have to add an extra reshoot. stroke. Do we reshoot? No, 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 no. We don't do. We don't no, play just put the water. So if the ball gets caught right here, does he get an extra stroke? Or does is it a reshoot? Yeah. No, just reshoot. No, no, All right. No, no, dude. He already shot it. It's 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 whether we put it like this. You think we should put it like here, or do you think that he should add a stroke? Or is it a reshoot? Try again. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> well, dude, what do you, you don't know. Who knows, dude? I don't know. I don't so know. try again. I don't know. So what is it? Reshoot, <laughs> dude. If you don't know, who knows? You can't do that. You're not allowed to do that. Do you spin in my backswing area? What is that? What is that? You have to play it as it lies. I'm over here. This is <laughs> Are you forfeiting? Dude, I'm not forfeiting. I'm going to finish this game, but I'm very frustrated right now. Like a level 10 frustrated. So much for the epic meltdown. Uh, yeah, it was a hell of a day out there. Uh, Caleb put on a heck of a match. Uh, he predicted a meltdown from me, and uh, while there was a little bit of melting, uh, we fortified at the last second. What is this? A game where you just win cash? So it's a lottery for children. Do you have any credit that you're trying to take care of? Oh, we, we actually you're talking to me? Yeah, I just want to let you know. Oh, oh thank you. Oh, no. So far, so good, man. If you ever run anything, I have a number I can give you. Yeah. As long as you don't have Discover. You don't have Discover, do you? No, I don't have it. Right. I don't use credit card. <laughs> this is good? Uh, yes, yes. Thank you very much, man. You're a legend, man. I was the funniest guy, and you were just gonna not include him at all. No, 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 Caleb too, man. That's fucked up. No, I wish you had just said it was me. You said Caleb cracks me up most. Yeah. Sometimes. This is fucked up. When you said, when you said, say no more. Most is most. You said most. You said we would have the tiebreaker at Borelli's. Did he not say we'd have the tiebreaker at Borelli's? You're welcome. No, you're welcome. I got you. You're welcome. I mean, I don't know how, how much more obvious that that's it. You're drunk already? I went six for Lori, frankly. <laughs> you, guys, you guys serve alcohol without taking IDs? Oh, yeah. I don't need 21. Ooh. Oh, hell yeah. That's very nice. Oh, yeah. This was right. I don't know. It's for Lori, frankly. It feels it's like surreal to be here, to be frank. Get it? <laughs> Now we're at Borelli's. Borelli's is the family establishment that's been open since the 50s, I believe. It said it out front. None of us were paying attention. But Frankie Borelli works with us. His family owns this beautiful restaurant, and he worked here before he came to Barstool. It's the most affiliated restaurant with Barstool Sports. So we had to come in the first time we've ever been here, but we're about to go into the Islanders game after we eat a little bit of food at Borelli's. Mwah. So you got tickets for us. Michael, we just met this guy named Michael. And he just sent me the tickets on my phone and I think that they are uh, first row. This is part of the secret society that you're in? So good. Oh wow. So good, dude. It's incredible. I mean, look at this. 
do is stretch. If you're in Long Island, you have to come here. If you're on Long Island. If Long Island's in you, you have to come here. I know, I know. would have done that little simple spot for someone else. In real time, it was, it, he was right here, but you never know what the angle is. Mr. Borelli. That's Frankie's dad. That's what Frankie's gonna look like in, a, in two or three years. Why does he have the... Why it's he, a me, a Mario! I mean, dude, face. why does he look like that guy? Well, that, that's probably like a sketch of his grandfather. It's like a police sketch he of his exactly grandfather. exactly like him, bro. Oh, uh, yeah, a man was seen serving 18-inch pizza pies. Fuck this. Come on down to Garden City Chrysler. We got the best deals that you can imagine on the G Grand Cherokee. You can see that's 22 inch rim. Matt Black, you would normally get that for about 27K MSRP and any other lot in all Long Island. We're offering it to you for a cheap 22K. And that's with no annual APR. That was not bad. Well, I'm saying I missed my calling. That was not that wasn't bad, dude. What would be the most epic, the most epic storm? NASCAR? Because <laughs> like other people still have to finish their last. <laughs> yeah, it looks like we're not on the ice. We got fucked. This guy fucked us over. This thing is a fucking mess now.